Codemates, welcome to our channel. In this episode, we will be practicing your CPC exam techniques. And the topic for today is all about integumentary system. We will be discussing few cases, so at least I can help you with your CPC exam. I am the medical coding guy. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, feel free to do so to get more updates about medical coding. So let's start our discussion for today. So for today's episode, we will be practicing uh, integumentary system for those who will be taking a CPC, CCA, or CCS exam, or a COC exam, this video is for you, okay? But before that, uh, again, Mm, if you really want to have the practice exam, okay, as in you need to purchase this from the APC's website, okay, I will show you right now where you can get this, okay? So under your AAPC.com website, make sure to choose the US website if in case you're outside the US and go to certification, click this, okay? And then go directly to the CPC and uh, go to prepare for exam. So under prepare for exam, you will see practice exams here in step number five. So you can either start here if you want, or in some cases, it's bundled together with the actual examination. For example, you will be checking the CPC uh, basic prep online exam bundle here. You will get the CPC online exam attempt together with your study guide and also your practice exams. So in this, you'll be able to know if you're ready enough for the actual examinations or not. If you will be taking the in-person exam, it's also bundled with your CPC basic prep exam examination bundle. So just try to uh, check your available packages here and you will be saving a lot instead of you getting the exam um, instead of you taking the exam multiple times why won't you just take it in one shot right it will save your time it will also save your effort okay so let's have some brief discussion and few cases about integumentary system although i'll be posting a, a separate video for your integumentary system how to code your repair how to code your adjacent tissue transfer, how to code your biopsy, etc. So we'll be posting that one in another video. Since I'm getting a lot of, um, I'm getting a lot of uh, requests for a CPC practice exams. So we'll be having few cases. Things to have, of course, I highly suggest you get the 2021 updated versions of your books, your CPT, ICD, and HICPICS level two. But if in case, uh, if, case the, if in case that you're just reviewing for this and you don't have the books yet, it's totally fine for you to have the CMS version for the PDF and older versions of the book. But again, I might give you a code that's updated already. So you will be missing that. So that's it. Case number one. So if you want to pause this video to answer this question first, you might do so. Okay. Uh, but uh, what I'll do is I'll be highlighting the important information in this scenario and what technique you will be using. Again, techniques vary from time to time. You can either choose your own technique or what you what technique you have practiced already, or it's up to you. Okay, uh, on which um, on what type of training your instructor has given you. Okay, but it really depends. So let's read the whole scenario here and let's check the important information you need to highlight. So the patient has having. Um, bilateral upper eyelids procedure due to dermatocalasis okay you will uh, you will not mind your dermatocalasis here because you don't have any icd codes listed here 
Okay? So that's your uh, technique as well. But in some codes, diagnoses are uh, important, but not all. Okay? So bilateral upper eyelids, a blepharoplasty will be performed for both eyelids. Since it's mentioned here, eyelids with S, you will be coding your bilateral blepharoplasty. So if you see the term blepharo, that pertains to an eyelid procedure. Blepharo. Okay? If you will go and check your uh, modifiers, okay, guys, excuse me, I'm using a 2019 version, okay? Alright. So, go to your modifier section, okay, after your cover page, you will see this E1 to E4. That pertains to the modifier that you will use for your eyelid procedures, okay? Going back, but uh, it, mentioned he, it was mentioned here that it's going to be done for both the eyelids, okay? Upper eyelids, so you will be coding this as bilateral. So no need for you to code and use these modifiers if it's a bilateral procedure. And double check the parenthetical instructions listed on your code sets. So let's go and visit the, the codes one by one. But before you, I give you the answer, please pause this video, okay? And, uh, yeah. I'll give you time to uh, answer this, okay? All right. So time is up. So let's assume you already have the answer. So the technique that you will do is something like this. Divide the choices, okay, into group like this. So A, B, C, D, all right? So divide this into different codes for each choice. So for example, 15822 for letter A and 15823. I divided this letter A into two codes, two code sets. So you will do it from top to bottom. So let's compare first the difference between A, B, C, and D. You have 15822, 15823, and 15820. Notice A and C is the same, so you don't have to check uh, both of them, okay? Let's check first what is 15822. It depends. If you want to go with letter A first, it's fine. If you want to go with letter D, it's totally fine. It's up to you. 15822 refers to upper eyelid. But there's nothing mentioned here about bilateral, alright? And it's mentioned here below that if it's a bilateral procedure, you have to add modifier 50, okay? So that makes your letter A incorrect, okay? So if you want to check your 15823, which is going to be for letter B, excessive skin weighting down lid. So you might want to check this. But it's not mentioned here, something was done like that, right? There's nothing mentioned about uh, having your excessive skin weighting down lid. So, we will eliminate letter B as well. Thus, leaving you with letter C and D. But if you will go to letter D, it's coded as left and right separately. And it's coded 15820, which give you this lower eyelid procedure. No, it's not a lower eyelid. It's an upper eyelid procedure done for left and right. So, you will choose letter cat as your final answer. Okay, are we clear? So again, key points for this question, if it's an eyelid procedure, usually is named as blefaro, okay? In this case, it's a plastic uh, repair, I'm sorry, it's a repair of um, eyelid that's going to be blefaroplasty, okay? Next, the modifiers that you will be using for your eyelids depends on what's the laterality and uh, is it going to be done the upper or lower eyelid? So those are your key points here. Answer is letter cat. Okay, let's move forward to your case number two. Okay, so again, Patrick is in the dermatologist's office for removal of two lesions. So notice it's mentioned that removal of two lesions located on his lower lip and nose so if ever that you will be uh, checking the guidelines for your integumentary system mostly it will tell you to go to the site 
part and also the number of lesions you will be removing okay so I highly suggest if ever that you will be getting questions from integumentary system check those things the sites how many lesions will be removed what are the approaches for those removal All right. so double check those okay All right. so lesions were identified and marked lower lip lesion of 4 mm in size was shaped so lower lip so put here lips All right. shape okay Utilizing a 3 millimeter punch, so biopsy was taken of the left supra tip nasal area. So nasal area is your nose. So we will get this lower lip and nose for the procedure that we'll be doing. Lips and nose. So punch, biopsy, and shave procedure. Let's check your uh, code sets here. Letter A, B, C, and D. You know the drill. Divided into uh, separate portions. So check what is 11104. Before that, uh, you can pause the video. Uh, so at least you can answer on your own. Then let's compare our answers later. Okay, I think we're good. So 11104 is your punch biopsy of the skin. Punch bi was, pus uh, was punch biopsy uh, done in this scenario? Yes, it was done for the nose area. Was it mentioned here the area? No, it doesn't matter where. Okay, it's for single lesion. Although that is correct, punch biopsy for a single lesion was uh, done, you don't have any use for 11105 because shave technique was done for the lower lip. Okay, eliminate letter A. Okay, next is your 11310. Kindly check what's that code for. Your 11310 is this, shaving of epidermal or dermal lesion, alright, shave is mentioned here, lips, let's check, lips is mentioned here, is it for single lesion, yes, so what's the size, size mentioned is 4 millimeter. so 4 millimeter technique, if ever that you don't have any centimeters mentioned, again, if ever that it's mentioned as millimeters, you should know how to convert this into centimeters it's very easy guys so what you want to do let's say four millimeters you can write this as 0 0.4 millimeters all right what you want to do is to just go okay sorry so what you want to do is something like this go and put a imaginary decimal point right after your four millimeters and then go one place to the left put a decimal point here then put number zero here so that's going to be 0 0.4 centimeters so again just move one place to the left and that's going to be your centimeters if in case it's given as what millimeters you should know how to do the simple uh, conversion okay so that's four, 0.4 centimeters. Can we code it under 11310? Yes. So we can code this one. What's 11104 again? It's your punch biopsy. It can be coded? Yes. Let's compare it with other choices. We're not yet done. 17300. Your 17300 is destruction. Okay nothing was mentioned about destruction or destroying the lesions here we'll eliminate this one okay and 11440 let's check this one last uh, your last choice the reason why even though you got already the answer from the earlier choice again just to make sure you don't want to leave um, other choices hanging in some cases because again sometimes uh, you will get the best answer with other choices but if it's too obvious and you're 100 percent sure that you are right with your choice then you can go ahead and uh, answer that one okay so 11440 is your excision of other benign lesions okay so face ears eyelids nose lips so we will not be uh, choosing this because shaving and punch biopsy were both mentioned 
and the shave was mentioned here so we will be choosing clearly your 11310 instead of 11440 okay letter b or boy should be the answer okay key points for this question again double check the site okay where the doctor will be doing the procedure for that lesion for okay in most cases you will be um, making sure to highlight as well the the size of the lesion that will be removed or will be biopsy okay so that's it next case number three Misty, a 46-year-old female who had a previous biopsy that indicated positive malignant margins. And to say, the previous biopsy that was done for this patient, Misty, indicates a cancer. Okay? In which portion of the body? Right side of her neck. So there's a skin cancer located at her neck. So what the doctor did here is what? A 0.5 cm margin was drawn out and a 15 blade scalpel was used for full excision. Full excision was done. So that all right, malignant tumor that was found in the neck was fully excised. Okay. Of an 8 cm lesion. So this is an 8 c uh, 8 cm lesion. But there is a 0.5 cm margin. Okay. So, you might want to add this one as well later on. So, I'll put here 0.5 cm. Again, guys, remember, for your lesion, okay, adding of your lesion size, if it's going to be excised, you have to include the margins, okay? You can read that uh, guideline from this portion. I will show it to you. All right, it's all here. So, if it's mentioned... Um, if it's mentioned the number of margins, you will be noting those as well. Okay? So, just uh, refer to this one. Alright? Let's uh, answer this one now. Layered closure was performed as well. So, remember to check your uh, repair. Okay? Again, I'll be giving you the guidelines later. I'll give you a chance to answer this first before I explain what is the answer. Pause the video and try to answer your question here I think we're good to go so let's check the different uh, things we need to examine here okay divide this into this good thing your first choice your first code is 11626 for A B C and D so it doesn't matter that much whether you check it or not but I had to suggest you check it even they're the same okay there's nothing wrong in doing that. So at least you know the procedure you're looking at, okay? 11626, excise diameter over 4 cm. So you have excision of malignant lesions. Is it malignant lesion? Yes. Is it the neck portion? Yes. Again, as I have told you earlier, check the site and also the size, okay? Site and size. Malignant lesion, neck, 8 cm plus 0.5 cm that's 8.5 all right over 4 cm so it doesn't matter whether uh, if ever that you want to add the margins or not okay but add it okay so in case so there's going to be a question that uh, requires you to add them 11626 is your first code what was done next after excising of course if something is removed like specific uh, especially for your lesions, it should be sutured or it should be closed or it should be repaired. In this case, which type of repair was mentioned? Layered closure. So let's have a brief guideline about your repair. Okay. Repair codes are located under your 1200 codes. This one. Okay. 12001 is the starting point. But let's discuss the three types of repair. Simple repair is used if it's a single layer closure, okay? Or a simple one layer closure is mentioned. Intermediate repair, if the doctor will be mentioning the term layered closure, layered with ED, okay? That pertains to uh, one or more deeper, deeper layers, okay? Or if it's mentioned single layer closure of heavily 
contaminated rooms. You can use this criteria. But you can always query your provider on what is the type of repair that is mentioned. Okay? Last but not the least, you have your complex repair. If you have the following terms, more than layered closure, vis, scar revision, debridement, okay? Or if you see the term extensive undermining, most of the stuffs located under this paragraph, you will be using your complex repair. But in this case, it's only mentioned layered closure. Where can you see layered closure? Intermediate repair. So you have to code your intermediate repair for the second CPT code. If you will go to letter B, 12004, this is simple repair. We will not be answering and using this, okay? Eliminate B. Most probably letter A is deleted as well because there's no repair code, okay? 12044. That is repair intermediate, yes neck yes it's mentioned right here all right so go to your one two zero four four seven point six to twelve point five it's mentioned eight point five cm that's the total uh, lesion that was removed okay so in this case we have a sure answer of letter c if you will go to letter d one three one three two is under your complex up here we will not be coding that letter c is the final answer for this question are we clear so key points and strategy for this type of questions you have to check what type of uh, excision will be done is it excision for malignancy or just excision of your benign lesion is it destruction or not how many lesions were removed please check the margins as well and also check the total size or the total diameter of the lesion that was removed okay after that, check for the closure procedures or the repair procedures, and then use the guidelines accordingly. Okay? All right. Next case, case number four. Okay. So, a 30-year-old female is having 15 square centimeters debridement performed on an infected ulcer with ASCAR on the right foot. So, debridement was done for ulcer of the right foot okay so it was done all the way to the bone of the foot pressure also is like that okay pressure also depends and varies on the depth okay of the also itself okay so check with the me medical documentation on what is the extent or what is the depth of your pressure also because the debridement will be done uh, accordingly okay on the depth of your pressure also itself okay the bone had to be minimally trimmed because of a sharp point at the end of the metatarsal so that's going to be it I think we're good to go in checking your answer so technique here uh, before I, I give you the technique answer pause this video answer the question okay i think we're good to go so let's check letter a 11043 your 11043 is your 11043 your 11043 is the breedment of muscle all right and or fascia but it's mentioned here bone, right? So we will not be choosing letter A. If you will go to letter B, before you go to letter B, the nearest uh, 11044 and 11042 is nearer than your 11012. So don't waste your time turning your books to 11012 because it's easily, this these two choices here can easily be accessed, okay, from that page. So 11042, <coughs> the breedment of subcutaneous, Nope, it's not a subcutaneous tissue that will be the breeding. Uh, that was the breeding. And last but not the least, 11044. That is the breedment of bone. It's the size, first 20 square cm. 
it's not uh, it's mentioned here 15 square cm so can we choose letter c yes now we're still ha we still have your 11012 let's double check that one that is the breedment with foreign material removal okay <laughs> there's no foreign body material here so we will not be choosing that one we will choose letter c all right that's it okay so we're done with your case number four letter k all right last but not the least again we only have five cases but just um, make sure to keep updated okay in this channel by hitting this that subscribe button so at least you will be notified in case i will be uploading more of this okay last question for your integumentary system so this is a lesion removal okay what cpt codes are reported for the destruction of 16 pre-malignant lesions and 10 benign lesions using cryosurgery what's the answer for this question so technique is to divide this into different sections i'll give you time to answer pause the video and try to search this one all right i think we're good so let's check your 17000 first your letter a so this is a lesion uh, destruction so for destruction of your lesion please count how many lesions and uh, what type of lesions will be rem uh, destroyed and uh, how many uh, what do you call this what's the technique what's the approach that was used destruction of what so 17000 is your destruction of pre malignant lesions first lesion is coded for 17000 we will check this pre malignant lesions are mentioned so it's fine for you to code 17000 let's check and find out 17110 letter c destruction of benign lesions other than skin tags or cutaneous vascular proliferative lesion that's for 14 lesions okay let's check 10 benign lesion was mentioned here can you code 17110 no because your 17111 has 15 or more lesions so that's uh, up to 14 lesions maybe we can code this one one seven one one zero but let's check later okay next one seven zero zero four under the umbrella of your one seven triple zero you have the code until one seven zero zero four okay one seven zero zero four is also destruction of pre-malignant lesions if it's 15 or more lesions so that's the main difference between the two this is only for the first lesion and if you will code it until 14 lesions you'll be choosing 17003 however you have 15 or more lesions here that was mentioned right here can we code 17004 yes however you also have 17004 here but we will not be coding it with your 17000 and 17003 because it's clearly mentioned right here do not report code okay so that's it answer for this question is letter delta if you will go to 17110 17110 is your the one that i talked about earlier that's the 14 lesions benign lesion destruction that's your 10 benign lesions it's within the threshold you, you can choose letter delta all right so i think we're good to go again that's um that's a short one but i i hope that i've given you light okay for any confusions around your integumentary system and again i'll be posting down the links below on which site you can purchase the practice exam especially for your aapc cpc examination so, so long. Till next time. God bless. See you around. Bye.